Nick Adams, in your most recent book, Green Card Warrior, you write, by the time I was 25, I realized I was an American trapped in an Australian's body, and I was desperate to get out. That's exactly right, Peter. I really was, and I am just thrilled to be here in the United States of America. I've been living here now as a permanent resident for the last seven months. In about four and a half years' time, I'm going to become a citizen of the United States of America, and a journey that really began such a long, long time ago is really about to come full circle. And I'm thrilled every day I wake up and I thank God that I'm here in the greatest country in the history of the world. This is a place where you can do anything, where you're free to be yourself, where personality hasn't been downsized, and where I feel most comfortable when I get on the big 16, 18 lane freeways in Texas, which is where I've chosen to live and I happen to think the best state in the union, I'm just traveling down and sometimes I look around and it's the plethora of options that you have, whether it's eating or drinking or shopping. Uh, there is really no place like it. You can, the, the, the freedom is palpable. It is very much discernible. And perhaps that's something that someone who spent the first 32 years of their life living somewhere else uh, probably has more of a perspective on than, say, a native-born American that really hasn't experienced life anywhere else. They may have been other places, but never for such an extended period of time living in those places. And I can tell you as someone that has had the chance to live in Australia and spend extended periods of time in Germany and Greece, there is no place like this. There's no culture like America. There's no feeling like being an American. The patriotism, the excitement, the energy, the optimism, all of those things are just remarkable. They're incredible. And it's why America has been the number one destination for immigrants, remains that way, and always will be that way because it's just a place unlike anywhere else. How is it different than Australia? Well, it's different to Australia. Australia is a, a great country, but Australia is not a kind of place where you can blaze a trail or leave a legacy or colour outside of the lines or be bold or take a risk or do something different. What happens in Australia is if you differentiate yourself, whether it's through ambition, whether it's through success, uh, even whether it's just through perceived success, you are resented. The media, the public, the culture kind of gangs up on you because there is this idea that we all need to be the same. There is this idea that, that uh, it's not right to not conform, that we've got a colour inside of the lines. Uh, there is something called the tall poppy syndrome, which many of the viewers today may be familiar with. And Essentially, we all know what a poppy is. A poppy is a flower and poppies grow much like humans to all different kinds of sizes and shapes. And ranchers like to come along and cut poppies to size to make them all the same because it looks prettier. And that's basically the analogy that exists. The moment that someone gets a little bit bigger than the pack, all of a sudden they're lopped. All of a sudden they have their wings clipped all of a sudden their confidence is taken away, they become a target. It's the reason, Peter, why almost every single famous Australian that Americans would be familiar with don't live in Australia. They live here in the United States of America because this is the place where you want to be successful. This is the place where people look up to people that have done well. When I go into a Barnes & Noble, when I go into bookstores, I love reading. I'm always absolutely, I'm still to this day taken aback by the size of the self-help, the personal development section. It is a uniquely American trait to want to learn from people that have made it, to not believe that they just got lucky, to not believe that, you know, they're not better than I am, they've just had a different life. There is a real thirst for success. There's a real aspirational uh, trait that exists deep in the American psyche and it's one that, that I love and that I've always identified with my entire life and that's what led me to write what I wrote, being a, 
being an Australian, you know, trapped or an American trapped in an Australian body uh, because I had that that desire to self-improve. I had that desire to be the best I could possibly be. I have always been someone that has strived to be great, not mediocre. And while it may seem a little bit harsh, I think it's fair that Australia and Australian culture and Australians tend to aspire to mediocrity rather than greatness.